Hey everyone, uh, welcome to a, another ZED zombie survival education video. And as you'll notice, most of these are on making a plan or preparing your gear or tactics or whatever. Uh, because zombie survival is not a traumatic event. In t I mean, it is, but it's not a traumatic uh, turn of events like a plane crash, a boat sinking, or if your car getting stranded in the middle of nowhere like a desert or a forest on the road somewhere. Um, those are traumatic turning events that just happen pretty much out of the blue. Then you can't really prepare for them significantly. The uh, zombie outbreak you can prepare for and you should start, you should have started uh, already but if you haven't there's still time and that's good. So um, with that in mind one of the founders, uh, Matt, made a, a very nice post. He introduced himself and talked about EDC, which is Everyday Carry. And I want to expand upon that a little bit. Not rehash what he said. He did, he did a very good job. Um, everything you need to know about EDC, you can pretty much put up there. And there'll be a link to that in the video description section. I'm just going to talk about some EDC items um, and give you some, I guess, examples of their use outside of the norm a little bit, depending on the item. So, um, like I said, link to that particular post will be in the video description section, and a link to the channel, I mean, to the blog itself will be in the YouTube channel. First and foremost, when I say EDC, we're not, and when he said EDC, we're not talking about um, weaponry, per se, like a firearm or anything like that. Um, if you do have the ability to legally carry your firearm concealed, um, or what have you, if you're legally able to carry it every day without any restriction, then that will factor into EDC because that basically became everyday carry. But most people, uh, I don't want to say most, but I would say uh, um, a lot of people do not have that ability. I, I guess most would factor into that. So that's why I'm not going to talk about that here. Remember, EDC has, has to follow your laws. Because EDC is something you carry right now, um, or could. And if you're breaking the law, then you're going to suffer the consequences when that's discovered. So we're not talking about breaking the law here. We're talking about following the law um, with your EDC. And because when a zombie event really happens, you're not going to just wake up one day and go, Alright, zombie event, time to um, you know, make use of the items I have that I can't carry normally legally by carrying them now. It doesn't happen that way. What happens is it creeps in, you're at work or somewhere, and then it pretty much overtakes where you live. And uh, massive panic, massive upheaval, anarchy, whatever. And um, you're pretty much caught in the middle of that. And that's, what, that's where EDC comes in. This is where your legal everyday carry items uh, come into play. So, uh, firstly, as was said in the post, these items can be things just like your cell phone, your keys, your wallet, for the ladies, your pocketbook, and the items in it. So let's talk about the wallet, the keys, and the cell phone. Uh, cell phone is obvious. It can make and receive calls. Um, how long that ability will remain in effect when a full-scale zombie incursion happens, I do not know. Uh, how long you will have power to keep your cell phone charged in such an event, I do not know. <clears throat> but it has that ability. And I would say um, most everybody who has the ability to watch these videos has a cell phone. I would say a significant portion of those people have a smartphone. Um, a phone that can download applications. Now, you still need power for your phone to access these. But these applications, depending on what they are, could be a, a big service to you. You know, from it being ebooks to it being um, a roadmap that's on your phone because you don't have a roadmap on you for some reason. Stuff like that. So that's the cell phone. Let's talk about keys. Aside from obviously locking and unlocking your important places to go, like your house or your car or, or whatever it is, um, they can be used to cut into things and tear things. They're more of a tearing than a cutting force because of just the way they are. They're not meant to cut. 
but the way they are, you can puncture cardboard, other items, and tear through it a little bit. Uh, tape, you can cut with it. And um, keys, when you look at it, are kind of like a very poor saw. And on soft wooded trees, you can use it to kind of get your way, um, like cut your way into a little bit with um, the key into a branch to help snap it if you just couldn't snap it um, on your own and you don't have a knife or a saw on hand. It's not recommended really, but in a dire situation, it's worth giving it a try. Um, you can also work on fibers like uh, plants that you want to cut into to make cordage or whatever, but again, not the best. But you have nothing else and you can't do it with your bare hands, give it a shot. So those are the uh, the two, and then the last one is wallet. Now it carries your money, it carries your identification, other cards. I suggest a couple of business cards in there of important places that you either visit frequently or just know are important. If they have a business card, it'll have their number on it, and usually it'll have their um, address on it to help you um, get there if you, if it's something important and big. Uh, also. The back side of it is usually empty for you to write on. And um, if you don't have something to write on readily available to take with you, uh, the business card can work for that. Um, also, should you have a piece of paper or find a map or something something you can fold up, you can store it in your wallet more securely than if you just put it in a pocket. Alright, so on top of that, um, let's talk about some other ETC items, some other examples of ETC items. First up, which is not here because I didn't, I didn't want to feel like showing you one, is a pen or a pencil. Uh, whatever one you carry is up to you. Now, I will say pencils can work when wet. Not every pen can. Um, pencils also do not run when wet. So if you write on something and you get it wet, I mean, it could smear when you touch it because it is charcoal, pretty much. Um, but pen ink can just run right off depending on the pen and, and what it's written on. Also pencils will work on the water in the event you, you'll find yourself having to write on the water. Um, I'd say a pencil is a little bit more of a safer option because of the fact it can work when wet but if you don't have a pencil, I mean carry some type of writing implement on you, that's important. Um, another item to talk about is a lighter or, or matches and this is something that Matt also talked about. Um, or both if you can, but it's a fire starting implement. And um, I will actually be doing a video about lighters. Not, I don't, I'm not an expert on lighters, but just talking about which ones maybe are better to carry than others, um, and so on and so forth. But they're an instant source of fire, pretty much, and that can be a, a big help to you. Another thing to talk about is a multi tool such as a Swiss Army knife or other multi-tool, like the plier multi-tools, uh, which are bigger and bulkier, but are also, are, I think, better to carry if you have the ability to. But uh, a Swiss Army knife works or some other type of multi-tool. Um, as the name implies, it has multiple types of tools in it to uh, for different scenarios. It has usually a saw in it, it has tw uh, tweezers, it has a um, corkscrew, it has a screwdriver, some blades, a uh, bottle opener, can opener. Now, all that's very important. All that can help you in any situation. Not too much to say there. Um, one thing that's also very nice to carry are uh, nail clippers. Um, plenty of uses. Hygiene is important. Keeping your nails clean, free of things that can build up and cause infection is important. Um, and also a nail clipper can be used to clip a variety of, uh, of um, help clip uh, wires, if you need to, to help clip a corner or something, like something very tiny. Uh, you'd be surprised how nail clippers can come into a effect, and I would be surprised too because I only know a few instances and it's hard to describe without uh, being able to show you, and I don't really have the ability to show you just yet. But um, nail clippers are, are a very handy thing to have. They usually come with like a uh, metal fold out like little file thing too which can also be of use um, 
And lastly, which I have seen he, uh, shown here is a light, a flashlight. And the thing up top, and I'll zoom in a little bit. Uh, it doesn't have to be this exact type, but uh, these are nice. They're small. They can fit on a keychain, which I'll talk about in closing. Um, and um, obviously, low light conditions, you're going to need something to help you see. Uh, human beings are, we have all of our senses, but we're, I would say, primarily sight driven. We have good sight. And um, really, this thing about it, go around blindfolded and you see how limited you are. Now, um, some people who happen to be blind uh, their whole lives may have, be a little bit more accustomed to that, but still, it's considered a, uh, a handicap for a reason, pretty much. Because we are human beings who are driven on sight. That's just what we, we do. So, um, the ability to see is important. Flashlights help with that. Flashlights, however, are big and bulky, um, but these small pocket lights are of good service, and they're pretty bright, um, which is nice. So lastly, um, I've been talking a lot here. Uh, lastly, keychains. Um, keychains can have anything on them. They can have a flashlight. They can have a, a, a blade or a multi-tool on it. They can have um, a small uh, measuring tape, which is also handy to have, um, just on hand. Not critical, but handy. Um, they may, they can pretty much have anything from miniature lighters to um, uh, flash drives, jump drives. They have keychains with everything on it. One thing you have to consider is, do you want everything attached to your keychain? Because you're going to have your keys, you can have your your uh, flashlight on there, your multi tool on there, um, nail clippers. You can have everything on your big, on a big keychain, multiple keychains connected together. Um, one thing to think about is, do you want to do that because if you lose that one keychain, you lose everything. So you have to weigh that out. Just like you have to weigh out, if you're a lady, how much you want to keep in your pocketbook, or your purse, whatever you want to call it, and how much you want to actually carry on your person, in your pockets, on your pants, or on your uh, jacket, or whatever. Um, again, with having a, a pocketbook, you have the ability to carry more than I would, for example, as, as a male. because. I just have my pockets on my pants, pretty much, or my coat when it's cold out. So, um, but pocketbooks are not directly attached to you. My pants are, pretty much. Um, so, if you lose your pocketbook, which can happen um, in a, a situation of extreme stress and panic and anarchy, it could become, you could just lose it, it could, the, uh, the strap could get broken and it could fall. Uh, there are a variety of ways you can lose it. You have to factor in that. Yes, you can carry more, but um, how certain are you that you're going to be able to keep your pocketbook with you throughout the entire time? Um, that's why you have to weigh that out and see what you can carry in any person. I would say EDC should be um, something you can carry every day without inconveniencing yourself. And the more you can have on your person, um, I would say the better. All right, so that's it for EDC. Again, I suggest reading the blog post. He goes into it as well, uh, explains it. I didn't really explain too much about it. Um, the idea of EDC is pretty obvious. But again, like I said, checking out the blog post on similar topics or the same topic is important. Because it's a quick reference. You can print that out if you really want it. So you can't do that with this video. Um, you can't just print out a video. So um, I suggest looking at what you carry and what you can improve and what you can carry what maybe you don't need to carry and um, work from there remember preparing and planning starts now in fact it should have started yesterday so the sooner you start the better off you'll be um, so until the next video uh, be safe and take care